Today I'm teaching you how you could take a pair of comfortable shoes from your closet and turn them into a dance shoe that allows you to spin with ease. Let's do this. So today's video is a great solution because for 20 bucks, you buy the leather sheet that you need to convert any shoe that you already have in your closet that you already know is comfortable and turn it into a dance shoe. So with that said, let's get started. Okay. So step numero uno is always going to be picking the right shoe. Now what I mean by picking the right shoe is that you're trying to use a shoe that doesn't have like this, like a cross country, a lot of grooves, a lot of wedges that when you try to stick anything on this, it's going to be really easy for it to peel off. And remember in dancing, you're, you're doing a lot of spinning, so things will peel off. Therefore is why I choose always something like this, nice and smooth nice and flat so whatever you stick on here is there to stay trust me on that one so next thing is going to be picking a shoe that's flexible okay there's a lot of shoes out there that are very rigid and because you're dancing the more flexible the easier it's going to be for you in the dance floor and for you to move and groove because remember a dance shoe a, a real dance shoe it hugs your foot your foot it hugs your foot so you want to make sure you find something that kind of simulates that. The only thing with dance shoes is that they don't go with everything in your closet. So that's why, once again, I've chosen white as a color. But whatever you do, make sure you choose something that's also smooth in the bottom. The last thing is to also remember, pick a shoe that's light. Okay, some shoes are very heavy and you want to be light on the dance floor. So a, a shoe that's going to weigh you down, you don't want. So the lighter, the better. So now we clean the soles. Now when I clean my shoe, I make sure I pick something that's friendly this is an all-purpose cleaner nothing fancy is that if i use dish soap it's gonna create a lot of suds it gets messier something like this with a rag is all you really need and it'll make it a lot easier let's do the one that needs to be clean bam so I'm gonna spray it bam spray it everywhere you're not looking for a brand new look you're just looking to give it some of the things that you feel like are gonna take away the adhesive from your shoe, which ultimately is what's gonna make it a dash. So there we go. Usually we could create three pairs. I could create three pairs out of one sheet, but I already used part for another pair of shoes. So today we're only using this much. So our goal right now is to create a stencil so that at least covers all of this. At least something you could get away with just cutting across. So pretty much something around here and here. Make sure you draw those lines in places where you, it's not gonna matter. Place the shoe, it's about how much I'm gonna need. So here's the trick. This material is very slippery, kind of like plasticky. So whatever you try to draw on it, it's not gonna draw. At least for me, it hasn't worked. So we're gonna use a pen that's kind of like sharp because this adhesive paper that you peel off is made of paper. So our goal is to trace the line hard enough that you could kind of like break through the paper and you'll see the trace. I put the pen down and I push a little just to kind of like rip through the paper and then I just trace around. And take your time, try to make a nice job. A lot of times the tip is the part that I tend to screw up a lot, but that's just me. You go all the way around. Bam. I want to make sure that the lines kind of match. So I want it to be here and here. Bam. I place that here and here. And I trace away, yo. Bam. And now you have both your steps. All right, so here's the trick. So for step number four, we traced a line around this. But I don't want the edge to be right here and to be sometimes showing up. So what we are going to do and what I'm going to do today is I'm going to try to go and follow more this line that traces the shoe. It's about an eighth of an inch. So now when you go here and you cut your stencil, your goal is to go one eighth of an inch inside of that line. Now do your best. Don't trip. Here we go. Let's do this. To make it easier, I always find it that if you just cut the whole sheet in just half, you now have more room to play with. So here we go. We cut away one ninth of an inch inside our line. 
Have fun with this. Take your time. Right, here we go. Let me get rid of this stuff. We don't need this. We only need this. So step number five is going to be put in the bomb. So here we go. So as you can see, this is how it's going to fit in here. It matches the lines like I did. One eighth of an inch within the line. So this is the part. It could be a little bit hard if you don't take your time. You want to treat this like your favorite sticker. Don't just slap it on, because if it comes like that, trust me, it's not gonna work. You know, peel it here. I recommend holding it through the edges. Don't peel it too hard, because if it jumps back and this side gets stuck to this side, game over, you gotta start all over. Try not to touch too much of this. The least of the adhesive you touch, the better, because you wanna conserve the stickiness. So I'm gonna flip the shoe over. And our goal is to try to... I like to start laying it slowly. When I feel like it's right, I try to put the middle part first. And I push out. All right. One done. Piece of cake, trash. And here's number two. So yeah, I'm gonna peel it. All right, once again, same thing. Try to place it on top as much, as close as possible. And let the middle stick. Push it away. <laughs> there we go. Bada bing, bada boom. Salsa dance shoes for you. Now your last step is gonna be put them on and walk on them. Your goal here is not to spin. Your goal is to make sure you start putting a lot of pressure into this leather sole to so make sure there's been any air bubbles, all that is gone. It's very important because if a little edge starts to peel off, it's just gonna just roll all the way and your whole process is ruined and you have to start all over. So try this out. It's worked for me for many pairs of shoes. But remember this, once you convert a shoe into a dance shoe, this leather sole, you're gonna have to treat it like leather. So if it gets wet, if you start walking outside in the street with them, gum is gonna get stuck with them, all that gunk, and then it might not be as spinning or as a dance shoe as you would like it to be. So keep that in mind. Treat it like a dance shoe, take care of them, and lastly, why not just buy a pair of dance shoes? But let me tell you. For one, they could get expensive. I've easily spent 150 bucks in a pair of dance shoes. Secondly, is comfort. It's hard to find a pair of dance shoes that's comfortable because they're meant to be really snug. So you have to break them in, and maybe after you break them in, you realize they're not comfortable, and now you can't return it because you wore it. And the third dilemma about dance shoes that I found is that they don't really match everything in your closet. They might match two, maybe three outfits, but besides that, that's it. And with that said, if you try this and you liked it, make sure you find us on social media, tag us at the Salsa Beat. We want to see how you created your dance shoes. Peace out, and we'll see you here next time at the Salsa Beat. Ciao.